Welcome back guys, CryptoFi channel. Today we'd like to show you the big tutorial how you can use TradingView Screener for crypto. Let's dive in. First of all, guys, the crypto screener on TradingView, it's really, really helpful too and uh, absolutely can save you a lot of time. What you can do is just, uh, first of all, create account on TradingView if you still don't get it by link on the description below. Go to products on the main page, go to screener. Here you got a lot of screeners, but uh, what are we interested in? It's crypto pairs and crypto coins. So let's start with the crypto pairs. Also, they added the DAX pairs, but now it's in beta. So let's uh, take a look this to one. Open crypto pairs. And here you will see a lot of, a lot of filters where you can adjust just personally up to you, up to your trading style, up to your uh, vision of the market, for example, up to your favorite trading pair. For example, you can trade tokens uh, to BDC or to USDT, for example, or you can adjust to your time frame what you're looking for. For example, you're a swing trader, you can uh, trade a one week time frame and you looking at that uh, tokens and maybe you're a scalper you're looking at some one minute time frame first of all you can adjust the manual refresh or after refresh i always keep the after refresh then you can go to column settings here you can choose and add the favorites like uh, overview the performance oscillator trend following so for example here is a trend following i can delete it you can adjust the column setup which you would like to see here in that line what does it mean it means for example i uh, don't need to check the tokens uh, in three months performance. I don't need to see five years performance. I don't need to see six months all time performance. No, I'm looking some tokens uh, with the changes by percentage. Then I look at some volatility token. I don't interested in yearly performance. Yearly, no. I'm looking some tokens changes in one hour percentage. Right, that one. I am looking at some tokens, uh, changes five minute time frame, percentage up or down, right? And you can add as much as possible columns into that section. For example, let's add the volume. So I need some uh, tokens with a big volume or incoming volume, right? So you can check the volume 24 hour or just in general volume, right? So let's add a volume. Then you can adjust uh, trading pair, USDT for example, USDT, around the 16K, tickers which match to our data what we added now all right so let's add it like usdt i want to check the tokens um, traded to usdt got it now you can check this is the changes by a percentage in price and you can add the value so i would like to see that tokens with changes uh like uh five percent above five percent so all tokens which under the five percent changes right so it's uh disappear so now we got only one uh, 188 uh, tickers trading pairs which match to our settings so the more volatile token the more uh, changes for trades not for investment so we talk now today about trades if you don't want to spend a lot of time in settings you know you just can go to that one screen and choose by uh, default templates i would like to track the oversold tokens on the five minute time frame now but that screener five minute time frame uh, oversold tokens is uh, one inch for example two percent on five minutes and frame down also for example you can go to adjusted filters and set it up up to you but before you do this one you need to understand totally what coins you're looking for let's say i would like to check uh spot or futures i would like to check any of the coins trading pair i would like to check the centralized exchanges tokens so we got our last tokens now i would like to check only on uh, let's say uh sgx that one you can adjust the market capitalization start from 10k to 2 billion track the volume of the trades and then you can adjust as much as possible changes up to you and when you're setting up all that changes what you're looking for you just need to save screen as and name it so all the time when you open the trading view you don't need to adjust all, all the time the same settings you just uh, choose from a uh, template so this is basically how you can find out the interesting trading pairs but uh, personally i mostly use the crypto coins screener so let's go to crypto coins that one and here's just a million 
uh, settings what you can adjust, you know, personally for you. That's why, guys, there is no some secret how you can adjust it. It's uh, absolutely individual what you're looking for from the market. But while you spend some time, you know, on that screener, you can create a template and you can use that template all the time. So let's say we got a crypto coin screener, that one. Uh, by default, the trading you already created some templates it's popular screener and uh, here for example the underwallowed coins and we'll come back to that underwallowed coins template a little bit later auto refresh off or every 10 seconds so it's really important i recommend you to add uh, like every one minute at least you know so you can see the countdown also here's a visualization this is a table this is a, a like chart view you can choose a time frame that one so for example one day by area or by candlestick like this one you can choose auto or even the use custom one like this one for example or like this on the table you can see the ticker name here's a rank here's a price here's a change of 24 hour here's a market cap volume circular supply category you can add plus and add any category what you're looking for at the top you can adjust by some settings for example you want to track only the top 50 tokens Got it. You can uh, track only the tokens which is uh, under from 100 million to 1 billion market cap. There is no uh, tokens in the top 50, so top 100, that one. Uh, you can track by FDV, that one. You can track by uh, volume and the market cap. You can check by active addresses, address with the balance of that token. You can track by volume of that token, volume changes. So for example, I want to track uh, only the token with which volume changes in uh, momentum 5% and above. So that one. I would like to check the, this is a, a transactions volume in UZ. This is a changes, uh, it's a volume changes, guys. It's not a volume change in percentage. So this is a changes uh, in gains uh, over then, let's say 5%. So only Q&T want pump it by that matches settings uh, 5%. And performs so when you create some settings you know you just press save right save screener name it and use it the next time like a template so let me show you the interesting uh, templates which already created on the trading view so here uh, that's one you can use the DeFi tokens active community based on community members and their activity on social networks plus github so it's really really interesting here's a high selling pressure so for example you want to want to open short today and you can look at the tokens, which now it's most likely um, playing out with that short. Stablecoin is not interested. Here's a low cap smart contract platforms. And I would like to check the underwallowed tokens. And we got 18 coins. All right, so let's adjust the decapitalization. So I want to track the tokens uh, from 10 million to 100 million. I would like to check the tokens under wallet tokens with market cap between 10 million to 100 million and with fdv like uh, 100 10 million to 100 million interesting so we can see the rank we can see 291 tokens which one here's a price current price here's the changes here's a market cap so all of that tokens is under 100 100 million market cap pretty good so we got a sword so we save a lot of time. We save a lot of time and not waste the time on coin market cap, for example. Here's a volume changes in 24 hour. Here's circulation supply, we can track it. Here's a category, category of that tokens. For example, I uh, don't need that category. I've saved the space on that one. For example, from that all coins, I would like to choose by category only the meme tokens, that one interesting one this is volume market cap this uh, addresses with the balances so this is a volume it's not that what i'm looking for this is volume changes uh, take a look at the volatility so i would like to check the volume change five percent got it only nine uh, let's say it's if ten eight tokens if zero only one only pit all right so let's keep it like this one uh transaction volume i want to track the tokens which is uh, transaction 1 million and 1 million and above no tokens uh, 1 million below bone 
Leash and Kesho Inu. Yeah, this is a volume. Now let's keep it like this one. This is a changes in the percentage. So let's say which one is performed pretty good now. 5%. Now in 24 hour, 0 to 5%. At least uh, pit pump 3%. Now imagine from million tokens, you sort and choose only the seven coins which you're interested in the meme sector based on that settings. This is valuation of that token. This is the price, market cap, FDV, circulation supply, total supply. So this is a save you a lot of time. So you don't need to go all the time to coin market cap, for example, to double check that data, right? This is the volume and the market cap. This is the addresses, active addresses. So imagine the leash got only uh, 61 daily active addresses. All of that tokens are still on track it. And here's the total addresses, like 101k, but addresses with a balance is only 26k, that one. Average balance in USD. So basically, in average, the people hold that token for 1K. This is the uh, transactions of that token. So all of that tokens is untracked, but leash is tracked. So last transaction in 24 hour, 74. Volume in USD for 82K. In average, for 1K buying. Gainers and losses. 78% addresses in losses. 0 0.61 at the break even now. 20% of uh, addresses in profit now. And here's a 87% uh, wallets, money addresses out of the money. You can track even the sentiment of the tokens now and the technical side. But of course, guys, uh, technical side is totally subjective. Also based only by classic technical indicators. Here you can track Miro. Technical rating now, it's sell. EMA rating right now is showing us sell. Oscillator rating one day, showing us neutral. RSI 14 in one day, showing us like 47%, so basically in the middle. A dodge at the top, so it's uh, basically like overbought zone. Next one is Momentum, uh, it's one awesome oscillator. This commodity channel index, the stochastic RSI, stochastic, and you can add even the patterns one, or you can add any technical indicator what you're looking for, so EMA, for uh, one week at a column. Cool with that? Yes, I'm cool with that. So this is the EMA rating in the one week. So it's showing out the strong sell. And take a look, for example, on the main page, how you can track the sentiment. So here's a Telegram positive post, like 349. Just to be honest, I don't know exactly how the trading view count that positive or negative post. At least it's showing us some data. So just to be honest, I just start use that screener. I want to create some few templates uh, personally for me to track the tokens which perform for example on five minute time frame with my specific uh, uh, filters what I will add it. So it saved me a lot of time to track the all list of all tokens. I can do this one in one screener. So guys I hope you like this video. Link to trading view will be under the description below. Subscribe channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button. Don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time, guys.